Hello, this is Giant16 and today we're having a look at music. Now, music is a big part of my model railway building. Um, <clears throat> mainly because every time I'm in this room working on the railway, i got music going. And I'm, music is a part of my life. Uh, as you can see from the guitar, I wouldn't say I'm spectacular at that. I just like learning uh, main riffs and that. I do play a few songs, but I I, I really got to learn more. So, anyway, let's go on to music. Now, these CDs are in order of my favourite bands from 1 to 10 to the bottom. Uh, well, 1 right down to whatever the number is. I'm not too sure. Um, so, let's begin. So, right at the top, we got my favourite, which is Metallica. By far the heaviest band I've ever heard. And... People do say like there's heavier bands out there, but what you gotta remember is sorry that I have to get up. Metallica's sound is very different to everyone else and that's what makes them spectacular. I really do love them and people have said to me or oh, all their songs sound the same. If you listen to um uh, Master of Puppets album or the Metallica Black album and then listen to Saint Anger or Reload, you'll get your answer. They're not the, they do not play the same kind of music over and over again. And that's why I love about Metallica. They are not afraid, afraid to go different places in music. And they've done loads. They've even done one with uh, Lou Reed, Lulu, which is a very good album. A lot of people have different opinions. So, Metallica's favourite band, but... I do have an all-time favourite album, and that is And Justice For All, my first ever Metallica album, and got two of my favourite songs on, which is To Live Is To Die and One. The back cover's on differently, I had to repair the case, <laughs> I have to buy a new one actually. Um, and then Load being my, other, my second favourite, because Load album, again, completely different to these first four, first five, sorry. And it just blows you away listening to some songs on that, like Outlaw Torn. Uh, then we go to my second favourite band, which is Bon Jovi. Um, been listening to Bon Jovi before Metallica. Been listening to Bon Jovi since the 90s, so since I was little. And definitely one of my all-time favourite bands. But it does come second, sadly. Uh, favourite album is Have a Nice Day. Uh, I've listened to the CD so many times, the songs are just brilliant on that. And again, their music and like it used to be, which I do like. Um, I have got Slippery When Wet, New Jersey. Oh no, New Jersey as well. I've got Slippery When Wet somewhere. I don't think that's that. i got Bounce and i got Crush. Bounce is a good album. And I've got a great set. Third favourite band, My Chemical Romance. Being emo band, really into their music. They've sadly quit now, called it a day. I still have to get a great set actually. But best album, Black Parade. By a long shot. Uh, the other two albums aren't that bad. Their first album, really good. And then I'm Not Okay, I Promise album. Uh, Tsunami Bomb. Now, a lot of people don't know these. They're not a really big band. They're punk. I do like my punk music as well. And Emily Whitehurst. Amazing music. Uh, really good band. Emily Whitehurst, obviously on Facebook and that. I do get to talk to her sometimes, not all the time. But... Um, it's really good to talk to someone you've listened to on the music for a while. Uh, next is Avenged Sevenfold. I got nearly all the albums. I think I'm missing like two. Um, my favourite was the... I can't think of his name now. Oh, I think it's just called Avenged Sevenfold actually. But I seen him last year at Birmingham, which was great. And then this album they brought out. Here to the King. This is brilliant. One of the best albums I've ever listened to. Um, so next we go on to Paramore. Uh, big fan of Paramore. Always have been. I was the only one in school listening to it until they brought it via album. So that was interesting. Uh, Favourite album is this one, The Butterfly. Really good album. Brand New Eyes I think it's called actually. Uh, yeah, like I said, I was listening to them in school and no one knew who they were. 
and then they brought Riot album out, obviously Misery Business, and everyone was like, oh, that was a great song. I was like, yeah, I've been telling her, pound more good for how long? Uh, next is Johnny Cash, big fan of Johnny Cash. Um, I actually got one, I got The Folks in Prison, but I haven't got one of his albums, so I just bought all his greatest hits on a free DVD, a free CD set. But Johnny Cash, really good. This is his latest album. Sadly, him and June Carter passed away 2003. And I think June Carter was 2003 as well. I know she died three months after the Hurt video, which is quite sad. Um, I do like Waylon Jennings as well. He's on the end now. And then Avril Lavigne, best album, which is her first album. Uh, Let Go. Been listening to her for a long time as well. Um, then we got Nightwish down here. I ain't got a favourite album because I ain't got my favourite album yet. Uh, they're quite dear Nightwish actually, and I, I'm not willing to pay 15 quid for a CD, so I just try and get them when I see them cheap. Um, Black Sabbath, Elvis Smith and Guns N' Roses are that. Black Sabbath's be best album, which is that one, which is Paranoid. Uh, I'm trying to wrap this video up a bit quick. And there you go, Black Sabbath's greatest hits, Nirvana, good band. Uh, Nirvana Unplugged, really good. Kurt Cobain, amazing. Some of the songs he wrote. Uh, Meatloaf, obviously Battle of Albion, the best album. Uh, Soundgarden, I think this is their first album, Rusty Cage and Outshone, really good. Uh, Newstead, which is obviously Jason Newstead out of Metallica, his band. Uh, that's his first album. Um, Machine Head, Locust, one of the best albums I've listened to in the last four years. Uh, Tenacious D, sitting there live at download, amazing. That's their first album. Uh, I got Faith No More, and No Doubt, Faith No More, and No Doubt. That two great bands. Faith No More's greatest hits, No Doubt as well. Then we got Queen, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, two Red Hot Chili Peppers in review as well. Um, Foo Fighters, is that Foo Fighters? Too sure that is actually. Uh, oh, it's Kiss. Yeah, Kiss. Can't forget Kiss. Joy Formidable. Really good. I watched them live at Glastonbury on telly. And I remember them being brilliant. And then Megadeth. Best album. Gotta be So Far So Good So What. Really good album that is. I'm not sure. Yeah, in their first. It was their second, I think. That's their first album. Um, I got Megadeth right at the 13. I am missing a few here. I still have to get. Uh, Pink Floyd, obviously the War, the War album. Uh, Slayer, Reign of Blood, their best album. And then at the bottom we got a bit of Anthrax, Fallen in Reverse, Iron Maiden, Van Halen, uh, Fall Out Boy, Fall Out Boy, uh, Stereophonics, System of the Down, Muse, uh, and Lennon Skinner. Great steps. Dragon Force. One Slipknot album. Uh, only because it's got Psycho Social on. Best song they ever done. Diamond Head. Diamond Head being brilliant. Uh, Disturbed Asylum. Good album. Pantera. Great steps. This is one of my favourite CDs I own. And I'm very lucky to have it. Because they're quite hard to get hold of. Um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. V-Rock. And it's all the songs off V-Rock. Brilliant CD. I was very lucky to get that. I won it on eBay for like $5. Um, and then we got the Tracy Fragment CD from the film with Ellen Page. Um, which is quite a good film, actually. And we got Juno soundtrack. Titanic. And then the last one is The Watchmen. Four great films and Ellen Page being in two of them. Big fan of her. I was lucky to get this. Uh, good film that is. And then obviously Juno being a class of the greatest. And she's got loads more coming out, so that's great. So yeah, that's my music. Let me know what you think. Let me know what bands you're into. And there's more CDs there, but they're mainly just doubles of the Metallica. So if I'm out and about, I don't lose my main copies, my original copies. So thanks for watching, and more coming soon. Bye.